What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. We got Mouth of the South, Gabe Arrington with us. Are you ready, though? I'm ready, brother. Got a couple local guys. We're up here in Sebastian, Florida, and we are after Pompano. Cool thing about this is, in my whole life, I think I've only caught four Pompano, like ever, combined four. All right, so the first thing we're looking for is bait. We're gonna be trying to catch pompano, trout, redfish, and flounder today. So before we start fishing, we wanna load up on bait. Redfish are very audible fish. They, they hear things underwater. That's why they croak. Listen to this. Hello, please don't eat me. Pig fish, y'all, going in a well. Let's go fishing, y'all. All right, so right now, it's slack tide. Every six hours, your tide will shift. So for six hours, it'll come in, it'll stop, and then for six hours, it'll go out. Well, right now, we're at one of those slack tides. And so at during slack tide, the pompano don't eat but the redfish do. So we're gonna fish a live bait out here, try to catch ourselves a big old bull red. That's what we're working with. Reverse just a hair. I keep my bail open, let it drag across the bottom. If the bait starts getting crazy, I'll just let him go a little bit. This is only my second time ever doing it. Yesterday, we crushed him. Got him? Whoa! That's a nice fish, y'all. Look at that. Here he is right here, I just saw him. It didn't look like a redfish. Yeah, it is, nice red. Woo, look at that. Nice fish. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Look at that. Now, you wanna get the hook out of his mouth as fast as possible. He's hooked with that with that circle hook right in the corner of the jaw. Hold on, he's mm. Got it. This one's too big to keep, right? We're just gonna let him go. There you go. When you catch a fish like that, you, you wanna keep him in the boat for as little time as possible. Get the hook out of him, put him right back in the water, man. Awesome fish. Now let's go catch a pompano. Hooked up! He dumped it. Double up. Oh. These fish pull hard, so much harder than I ever thought they would. What's all the gray in your in your chin? I mean, what is is that a? I don't know where it comes from. You and Aubrey don't have it, and I have it. I think the biggest thing, if you watch people fish, like yesterday, my friends, they'd never caught real big fish like this before. Let the rod do the work. Keep your back straight. Keep your arm bent like this, and let the rod, the rod bends for a reason. Let it do the work won't wear you out. I mean, you don't even have to strain that hard. Nice fish, Gabe. What a nice fish, Gabe. Awesome. We made three drifts, caught two fish, 
Now we're going pompano fishing. We're going full on chesty mode here. Let it go down, hit the bottom. Pop it. Pop it. Sometimes I just jiggle it, just, just like make it crawl across the bottom. Yeah, it was. Oh, there he is right there. Go real nice and light with the drag. funny to me how these fish eat that little lead with the quill. I mean, I have no idea what they think it is, but they dang sure like it. You literally just clack it on the bottom. Like they want to just ding, ding, ding. You want to just bounce it and let it sit. Let it sit. Let it sit. It must mimic a shrimp or something. They seem to always hit it on the bottom of the fall. Like when it's laying on the bottom. I like to make real long casts. Seems like you never get bit near the boat. You always get, get bit way out there. And I literally, I'll bounce, do one turn. He's got one on the side. Let him stick that spine in your hand. Yeah. You'll know about it. So anyhow, I bounce, let it sit, do one reel. They eat it sitting on the bottom. Buddy! You see how that was done? Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice fish. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Come on! Woo! Yes sir! Fish pulling. Oh, yo! What a pretty fish. Good deal. See, you gotta have a nice ice brine in there. When you have that ice brine, it just gets all around the fish, drops that core temperature, and preserves the meat. You'll see what I'm talking about when we start cleaning them. Hey, here's to all the armed services of the United States of America. I salute you and thank you for your service. Whoever's flying that helicopter, I wish you'd came down and made my hat blow off. I'm just saying. 
you can see that it's shallow along that side, it means it drops off here. So I'm hoping these fish run in this trough right here. Make a nice long cast. We call that a wing and a prayer. Oh, daggum. What do you got? Get the underwater camera, I gotta climb around here, you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How long do they have to be? There you go. Oh. You! Look at that. Now that is a way to end the day, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful flounder. Man, I am so stoked. Ice this puppy down. And we are gone. You wanna talk about a fantastic day? We come out here to a place I've never fished before in my life through the cast net, caught some pig fish, went out to the inlet, caught a big old giant uh, redfish, two of them actually. I caught one, Gabe caught one. Come in here, it was slow fishing because there were so many boats, but we still managed to catch five pompano, and then right here at the end of the day, I caught a beautiful flounder. Don't get no better than that, man. Rock on. Thank you guys so much for all the love, the support, the encouragement. Let's go back to the dock, clean them up and then we're going to Captain Hiram's to cook them. It's a great day to be alive, y'all. So that's what's great about this area. That boat was just offshore. They got a, a wahoo and a dolphin. Catching fish inshore, y'all. It's a great day to be alive, man. I'm so stoked. This is Captain Hiram's. It's a local dock and waterfront restaurant. We're gonna clean these fish. A knife right there is perfect for a fish that size. That's my Silver Stag Woods and Water. Start at the back and they're very, they have like tough skin, but they're very delicate meat. Come right around that head and then just flay it right off just like that. Look at that. I mean, this is the most beautiful meat you've ever seen. Turn it around, come down the back side of the ribs, and voila. That is a pompano filet. Now, don't try to skin this off because they're gonna cook it with it on. Snow white, beautiful meat. We're gonna go inside there and I'm gonna meet with the chef, Tommy. He's gonna to cook it up for us. I'm so hungry, I'm tired of talking. There he is. Come on in. Chef Tommy, you ready? Yep, let's do this. How you doing? There's a bucket full of fish. All right. Here we go, guys. So Chef Tommy, I've never met him. I just, I was just introduced here and uh, they're gonna show you their favorite recipe. You wonder how I come up with new recipes? I come up with new recipes from y'all and watching other people that are smarter than me. Y'all are officially part of Near Me for Dinner. What's your favorite seafood? Favorite, all time favorite. Oh my God, the camera's in my, um, I like oysters, I like clams, shellfish mostly. Like, shellfish? Yeah, most okay. like shellfish. I've never cooked pompano before. They cook it with the skin on. I can't wait to see how it tastes. I just put a little bit of um, lemon juice on it and salt pepper, that's all. Okay. When you've got super fresh fish, you don't have to do a lot. Keep it simple and let the fish speak for itself. Oh man, look how good that looks. What's that? Garlic butter. Garlic butter? He put the meat side down on the grill, let it cook about halfway, then flipped it over, put a little garlic butter on it, slid it in the oven. I mean, this isn't a set, y'all. This is a full-on line. These guys are cooking for about 100 people sitting out there right now, and I'm just standing in the way for the most part. But so cool to be back here watching professionals 
do what they do, y'all. Drop a big thumbs up and tell them thank you for letting me be back here because this is really cool. Now here's the funny thing, y'all. I swear to you, they did not know me, didn't know I was gonna be filming, nothing. I just showed up and was like, do you guys mind if I come back in the kitchen and film with you? They're like, all right, here we are. That's just the way we roll, man. That's the way our life is. Gabe called me, said, let's go pompano fishing. We went pompano fishing, cleaned them up, and now we're cooking them. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Please, please drop a big thumbs up for all the chefs back here on the line at Captain Hiram's. They had no idea I was coming. They don't even know what deer meat for dinner is, but they are going out of their way to make some of the best food I've ever seen. And the pompano with sauteed onions. Right there. Here you guys go, enjoy. Money, you guys. Thanks, brother. Hey, let's say the blessing real quick, you guys. Lord, thank you for this great day with great new friends on the water. Thank you for all this wonderful food. Please nourish it to our body and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. Hey, man, wonderful day. Great day, brother. Money. I want to say thank you so much to Tommy and all the guys on the line back there cooking. You guys rock, and I appreciate you taking time out of your day to cook for us. Thank you. What about your little brother? And Gabriel, you guys please go check him out on, on Instagram. It's Blue Gabe. I would not have been up here without him. It don't get any better than that. Thank you. The Parmesan encrusted one. What do you think? Oh man, I think the butter, the butter garlic is the best hands down. I'm winning I think it's for all sure. Good. I'm telling you. What's that? It's all good. <laughs> What do you think? I think the grill with the butter garlic is definitely my favorite. Phenomenal. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I'm telling you right now, this has been a wonderful experience with wonderful new friends in a brand new spot. I love it, and I wanna tell you, I love you, and I appreciate you for all the support and the encouragement that you show me and my family. You guys take care, God bless. Have a great night and I will see you later this week.